Hey everybody, uh, it's been a long time since I've updated, so I thought I would just make a hopefully quick video because um, for some strange reason YouTube or my internet is so lame that it wants to take eight hours to upload anything. So that last video I did, I actually uploaded at my parents' house and it was like, what, a minute and something? So that took like an hour and a half. I don't know what the problem is. Maybe it's the browser I'm using. So this time I'm gonna try Firefox. Uh, you're probably wondering, Elizabeth, why are you in your room right now? Aren't you supposed to be at E3? The answer is yes. I'm supposed to be at E3. And I wasn't making it up. <laughs> I was really gonna go. I have my pass right here. Um, but it didn't work out. And I didn't have enough money to make a very long story short. I kind of find out, like a friend of mine was supposed to help me get out there and then I found out at the last minute that it wasn't going to work uh, the way we planned it. And I was in England at the time so there wasn't really a lot I could do and by the time I got back to the United States tickets had gone up to be just like ungodly expensive, I mean ungodly for me, expensive. So the good news is I have Gamefly. I knew I opened this window for something. I wanted to tell you what was in my queue. I actually got Splinter Cell Conviction. I beat that. I beat the co-op. Eh. It was fine. It was okay. It wasn't, didn't like blow my mind or anything. Um, and then I played Alan Wake. And that was pretty eh, too. I don't know. I wasn't really like... I mean, it was cool. Like, Splinter Cell was cool. And there was a lot about it that I really enjoyed. And I, I really liked the objectives and the way that they would put them up there, you know, kind of like Batman them onto the walls and stuff. Um, and I really liked some of the weapons and I liked, um, you know, all the different ways that you could, you know, kill people or approach things or sneak into certain rooms and stuff like that. And that's all good and well. Um, but I wasn't really a fan of some of like the controls and the way that you had to cover like that was stupid you know like click here for cover and just let me do it myself you don't need to instruct like I'm not I'm, a, I'm not that much of a retard that I don't know how to play this game uh, so that was okay and then the AI is easily like the stupidest AI ever <laughs> like they yeah no I, that was, this was like the special olympics of splinter cell these are some of the the worst AI I've ever played. But, uh, and then Alan Wake. Eh. Hey. It's like, okay, Spooky Forest, that's fun. And then that's all they did well, so they just had to put you in Spooky Forest the whole time. Um, and I mean, it was scary at first, and then they're like, you just need to play it. And then they go, oh, there are enemies over there. Like, well, don't, if you tell me all the time, then I'm never really gonna be that afraid because I see them coming. So anyway, did that. Played Alan Wake. Let's see what's in my queue. Red Dead Redemption, Final Fantasy XIII, Bioshock 2. What else is in there? Um, Assassin's Creed 2, Dante's Inferno. Do you have any recommendations for games? Because I got Gamefly. Um, my dad uh, got it for me because I don't really have shit to do this summer and I was obviously really really depressed that I didn't get to go to E3 um, So and I have summer school So anyway, I've got that but if you have any suggestions for a game or anything that would be good I've still got Battlefield. I've been playing that. I maxed out my medic um, I'm playing like Assault and Engineer or the next one I'm trying to do. I don't think I'm ever gonna be good at recon. I just It's not something I think I'd be good at. Like if I'm playing in a um, like a cover shooter or something like I'm all about like without real people is what I'm trying to say with AI I'll, I'll own on a sniper rifle but there's so many people that that's all they do every day I don't even want to compete with that so that's me and then one other thing sorry I've got people trying to talk talk to me I got this TV and don't get too excited, don't jizz your pants because I'm only gonna have it until probably August or something. It's my roommate's boyfriend's and he's from Algeria and so he went back to Algeria for the summer and he let me borrow this. Dazzle. Video games. Hair dryer. So that's all. That's all that's really exciting for me. 
I'm extremely bummed out that I'm not at the convention, obviously. So, I lost one of my jobs. I got laid off. Um, ooh, big surprise. Like, I saw that one coming. So, I probably won't be able to get that job back until the fall if I'm lucky. And then my other job blows. So, I actually just got back from going to see about getting another job. So, I'll let you know how that goes. I promise. I'm gonna, I mean, I got nothing but time now. So, I'm going to be trying to write for the website some more. Hopefully, I can get back on podcasting and stuff like that. I'm really not as busy as I used to be. So, stay in tune for that. Um, and do check out. Everybody else went to E3 from the website, uh, Control Alt Kill. Except for Andrew um, Fayette. Or Fayette. But, uh, that, so, check that out. Hopefully, they're going to write some articles and not party the whole time. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, do so. I promise I'll get out some more entertaining stuff later in the future. And uh, make sure you're my friend on Playfire, at me on Xbox Live, rockin' soul instead of an L. It's a one, and we'll play games, okay? I uh, appreciate it. Talk to you later. Bye.